everybody, my name is Kirsten. I am an artist from Scotland, uh, based in East Lothian, which is near Edinburgh. Um, I've been asked by lots of people to uh, to show how I create my mixed media works. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do over the next uh, few videos. Um, have some fun, um, have a look at the materials that you need to use. You don't need to have expensive materials, you can use what is lying around. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, so we're ready to start making our um, uh, piece. Um, for this occasion, I have um, a canvas. Um, this is um, a bit of canvas that I've stretched on myself onto uh, uh, some stretcher bars. You can pick these up though in an art shop um, or even reuse another canvas that uh, you can work over um, or you can go to your local framers shop and perhaps they can help you make up the size that you want. I fancy doing a long thin piece, it's going to be portrait, um, so I've made up my own one. As I say, you can use anything. You can even use an old piece of um, cardboard, a bit of MDF, really anything that you've got lying around to make the base of your um, of your piece. Now, the only thing I would say is if you're going to do a lot of heavy mixed media on it, it's got to be fairly sturdy. Other uh, supplies I've got, we have some um, matte medium. Uh, this is a medium that is specifically for acrylics. Uh, it's really good. You can um, paste things down with it. You can um, extend the life of your acrylics with them. Um, really good stuff. Uh, this one's by Windsor & Newton. Um, I've got an old can. I'm just going to use that to tip my mixed media into. Um, I've got some tissue paper. This is just regular tissue paper. You might find it in a shoe box. You might find it wrapping up your new dress. Um, I've got an old map here, an old torn bit of map. Um, I'm going to use that um, to stick onto my canvas. And for the moment, the last thing I've got is some old bits of um, inside of a book. Uh, this is a book that was actually got uh, damaged in the flood, but I'm going to use it just to, uh, to help with my mixed media. Okay, so I've moved the camera now so that you can actually see what I'm doing with my protective sheet over my work area, just to keep things nice and clean. Um, first of all, I'm going to get my my canvas. Now this is um, a canvas that's already um, got gesso on it. So, as I said before, I'm going to put my matte medium into this tin, just so it's easier to work with. Um, and I'm going to apply it using um, a foam brush. Uh, you can pick them up in, in hobby shops, art shops, everywhere. So we're going to start off by putting down some tissue paper. So as you can see, I'm just putting this matte medium all over the top of the board at the first bit that I want. I'm not going everywhere but I'm just maybe taking the top quarter and covering it with matte medium. I love to get textures into my work um, and this is just the, you're doing the preparation work for the rest of your painting here um, by getting this medium and some tissue. So I'm going to put that aside just for a moment. I'm just going to tear it any way you like and then I'm going to start laying it down. I want this to be quite textured so I'm going to put it on and then start to work in and it get some really nice creases going on down in there. I'm going to post a picture of the finished article on here as well so you'll be able to see what I'm going to do and hopefully it will have come up at the beginning of the video so you can see what I'm doing. So as well as having medium underneath, I've got medium over and I'm going to go over the edges. Um, it may well get framed covering the edges, but just in case, I like it just to be just to be covering up the edges there. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. You don't have to put texture everywhere. I just like this. Because in my mind at the moment, it's going to be a seascape. And... The tissue is either really good for rocks and it's also good for a sea texture. So let's carry on with this. I do have a plan, but it's not a 
a plan that is completely fixed, it may change. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, and when we come back to doing something a bit different, I will put the video back on again. But at the moment, as you can see, just making sure every bit is stuck on nicely and go over it. When it's dry, by the way, this matte medium goes completely matte and um, it's just a really, really good surface to work on. Hi, right, so we're back again. Um, got as much tissue paper as I want on at the moment. I've also, if you can see, just tidied up some of the corners and the edges just by um, taking away some of the, the excess. But you can do that when it's all when it's all finished. So um, I think one more bit of tissue and then uh, I lied, you see. One more bit of tissue and then we'll get to go on to um, putting down some bits of um, book and map. And we'll mix it in a bit as well. Um, you don't want to just have areas that have just got one thing in it. Um, so, right, that is enough of the tissue. So let us get out some, let's get some mat out. This is a map um, of a, a Scottish it's, a, it's an ordnance survey map um, of uh, actually near where I live, so that's really quite uh, quite good to use. If it means something, it always uh, helps your artwork along. So I'm just going to stick down bits of this map. Um, again, um, I have got a bit of a plan, but it will evolve. So just break, break up bits. Um, some bits are just going to have squares on them, nothing very much, but it's all going to add to the finish project. And don't worry about how much of this matte medium you're sticking sticking down, and just make sure all the air bubbles are out of there. So. See if we can show you all of this. Um, we've now covered it, and that gives us or gives me my base to start a painting. Hi, right, so I've now moved into uh, my studio because it's going to be a bit messier than um, than just doing the, the base of the painting. Now on to painting. So we're starting off with a couple of Amsterdam acrylic custom colours. This one is uh, ultramarine violet. We have a, a thalo blue. Um, we have then a, a Pebio Studios acrylics. Um, this is a, a green, a vert blue iridescent. So it's a green blue iridescent. Um, we have a cadmium orange hue, um, a yellow ochre. Um, this is um, a colour that I really like. It's an iridescent pearl, which gives a really nice um, soft sheen. And of course, we have um, 
what I can do without some titanium white. Uh, we have a um, big brush to start off with. Um, this is a two inch Pro Art Polar white nylon brush. Really good to uh, get us started. So um, I may speed this up, um, but we're just going to get going. And really, we just want to get some colour down onto this painting as soon as we can. So I'm hoping, as I say, that the, the light's going to be okay in here. I've got some water in here, and we'll have some towel just to... Um, just to blot off any extra colour. So some of these colours, some of these bits of paper will be coloured over. Um, I always like to start in a bit of white just to get a bit of and let's see. I think we're gonna have I think we're gonna have sky from about there on upwards. So this will be the bottom, either sea and a bit of foreground, and up here is sky. Um, and let's just carry on, see what comes of it. undercoat of painting um, ready on top of my mixed media underneath and I am going to leave that to dry. Morning everybody, um, it's the next morning after we've done our mixed media uh, piece and I'm just going to show you how this has all worked out. Um, as you remember this is going to be the, the sea area and we've got some really really nice textures coming up in here. Um, get some lovely shadows um, and the texture is really good. I think this is going to be grasses and then into the sea and then up into the, the, the sky area. Um, if you can see here, we've got some lovely bits of map shining through. Um, again, some lovely bits of texture and um, that is all ready to do a painting on now. It'll be a quick painting, uh, it doesn't need too much more, um, but hopefully you can see that um, that is a really good way to start off a painting and give you some inspiration um, by accident. Hi, so um, here I am, a uh, nice dry underpainting. Uh, you'll have seen that in my previous video, how I got the, um, the textures that I've got in here. Um, and we've got some maps and some other bits of tissue um, on the underpainting. Um, this is going to be a seascape um, and it's going to be um, featuring a rock uh, uh, which is uh, on the coastline around where I live in East Lothian in Scotland. It's called the Bass Rock. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark off a mark off a line where I want the horizon to be. Um, I like my horizons to be quite straight, um, especially in this uh, type of uh, uh, type of painting uh, where uh, it's just a, a long painting. Um, now I know that uh, the bass rock is going to be in here, and uh, I'm just very, very, very roughly. 
drawing it in. Uh, it might not even be as big as that, but that's where I want it to be. Um, I'm going to be putting some grasses down in this area here and um, working on the sky. So I'm just going to get on with it um, and leave the camera running and we'll speed it up so that you can see how it goes. Okay. to the table in a bit better light to have a look at um, doing some of the smaller detail. I think I'm going to take down some of this really dark colour here as well as it's quite uh, it's, it is quite strong. So um, again I'm going to continue to paint, um, try and let you see as much as I can when I'm painting and uh, I've taken the size of the brushes down this time so that we've got much smaller brushes a three quarter inch flat brush and then we've got uh, two little round brushes there. Okay. Thank you. 
Um, I decided to add some collage to my work just because I thought that the area down around here wasn't too interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some old magazine and use uh, cut up bits along with some matte medium to stick it down. So we'll see how that goes. adding some other bits of um, the book pages uh, just to add a little bit more interest to the finished piece and then I think we are just about there um, so I really hope you've enjoyed the piece I love making it um, please subscribe everybody and give me a thumbs up if you like the video um, I'd love to do some more um, so there we are thank you bye bye